So pain sucks. It's bad. We don't like it. You, we do everything possible to avoid being in, like, physical pain. However, it exists for a reason. So pain is caused by your nerve cells responding to a stimulus. And depending on what that stimulus is, your body does a variety of responses. So pain receptors serve a variety of purposes. There's, like, these physical ones where it's like, hey, this thing is actively harming your body, stop doing that. Such as, when you touch something hot, you have pain receptors that are like, this is hot, this is damaging your skin, stop touching it. Which is great, because it lets you know that you're touching something you shouldn't. There's also pain responses to injuries, where if you cut your finger, um, there's pain responses to me like, hey, this has damaged our skin, and we need to... First of all, stop damaging it. Second of all, fix it. There's also pain in response to, like, kind of internal, like, muscular injuries. If you are doing, like, exercising and you hurt your knee, the pain response is like, hey, this hurt, this damaged our knee, let's stop doing this for a while. And then it's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop this because when I do it, my knee hurts and I don't want my knee to hurt. So that gives time for your body to repair the damage that you did to your knee. Because if you have an injury, so my knee, I have a lot of knee problems, um, I have a lot of joint problems, but I hurt my knee, I, my body does not want me to keep on doing that activity that hurt my knee initially and cause even further damage. So the pain response is basically there to make me stop doing things that would damage my knee even more and allow time for it to heal. There's also pain response in regards to things like pathogens and your immune response and all that. When you're infected by a pathogen, your nerve cells are triggered, being like, again, hey, there is something wrong here, come fix it. So the nerve response does a bunch of things and basically sends your immune cells over to the site of the pathogen or if it's from something like an injury, like a wood splinter that could potentially be carrying bacteria, pain response triggers immune response, triggers healing and taking care of the pathogen. And of course it sucks for a while, but usually it'll end as soon as the trauma to whatever is causing pain has ended. So if you get a paper cut, the pain will stop once the cut is healed. If you have an infection, the pain will stop once your immune system has cleared out all of the pathogens. Now, this isn't to say that, hey, pain is great. You should love being in pain. That is not the case. Pain sucks. And sometimes shit can go wrong. For example, with chronic things. So, cr injuries. Again, I have not injured my knee recently, but it still hurts because I have chronic issues that make all of my joints hurt, but particularly my knee because I hurt it a while ago. There's also things such as chronic inflammation that can be caused by an ongoing immune response. For example, chronic conditions can occur after the initial infection by a pathogen and your immune system just doesn't stop like it normally should, so you still have levels of inflammation that remain even after the pathogen is gone, which continually trigger the immune, um, not the immune, the nerve cells, and that causes, again, chronic pain when there shouldn't be some. Or again, in regards to the immune system, autoimmune disorders, where you have very high levels of inflammation in places that it shouldn't be. For example, arthritis, where your body thinks, hey, your joints look an awful, like, an awful lot like a pathogen. We're going to attack it and cause a bunch of inflammation that's going to hurt for no reason, because fuck you. Also, your nervous system isn't perfect. Sometimes it can make mistakes. For example, when you just get a random headache or muscle ache or something out of nowhere when nothing is actually wrong and you're just like, hey, what the fuck? But... This being said, pain response is normal, and it is generally a not good thing, but a very useful thing because it's your body telling you that there is something wrong that should probably be dealt with, be it an injury that needs to get looked at or healed, 
or an infection that you might need treatment for. So essentially, while pain is painful, it sucks, but it's there for a reason. And if you're in pain, you should not ignore that because there may be something wrong.